Citizens of ancient Egypt, welcome back to Pharaoh A New Era and the game has received another update fixing more bugs and the game is going along quite nicely. Here is our first choice in the archaic period where we can go to Abedju or Bedet. I will go chronologically here according to the timeline, the challenge of the sea. We have to build three master bars, a small medium, a two small and one medium master bar, 2,500 population, culture rating of 25, prosperity 25, monument 17, kingdom rating of 60. Let's play the game. Also, as a note, the game has been rebalanced in the last patch, so culture coverage, I think, has been increased because people just build more efficiently nowadays, and you don't need to do culture dumps as much as before. So that's, that's a good change, I think. Abjadu, the burial place of our forefathers, has grown over the years into a sprawling necropolis of sacred tombs. Now, most noble men and women wish to make this their eternal resting place. To honor them, the new pharaoh, Kazakimwe of the Second Dynasty, has ordered the construction of three sacred mastaba tombs, one of greater size than the other two, for the local nobility. Pharaoh has also ordered the creation of a powerful navy based at Bedet. Abjadu too must support a modest fleet of combat ships if our shores are to remain totally secure. This will not be easy, as timber is scarce and our climate supports only a few sparse areas of forest. Cedar may be imported at great cost from Byblos in the land of Lebanon to the northeast. Fortunately, exports of our native papyrus will provide a means of offsetting this expense. Here we go, the challenge of the sea, and I'm pretty sure the voice actor got it wrong, or rather the, the director of the voice actor got it wrong by saying Abjadu. I think it's Abedju, but what are you going to do at this point? Let's get into the game. Building boats and ships. Yeah, I should know how to do that. Zooming out. Oh, we do have some... Crocs to boo boo right there. Let's pause the game. This is a Nile uh, mission. So this map, this map's pretty small. There's not a lot to do. Uh, there's some papyrus over on that side, which we will need to get going. Let me just check uh, services. We have the usual, I think, scribal school. Ferry landing is in. Uh, we've got flax and barley farms, work camps, fishing wharf is what we're going for here. Production, reed gatherer, shipwright, brickworks, weaver, brewery, potter, papyrus maker. So we're going to need a lot of bricks, barley, flax. I can't remember if barley or fl uh, flax produces uh, straw for making bricks, but should be fine. We do need to set up our... I mean, do I want to build on this side? We can't really cross over. Best to have it on this side, and then we could have a little bit of farming there. We'll try go around um, these dudes. Start some papyrus gathering here, and then open up to that side. That sounds like a plan. So let's go ahead and set up a nice normal housing area over on this side. I, By the sounds of things, there's no military on this side. Let's, uh, should I make this a bit more interesting? Let's go around these rocks like this. And then we'll just bend it around like that. Is that too long? That might be too long. Let me just do that. Good. Good. And we'll clear that road. I don't know if that's not long enough or whatever, but sure. We'll have houses over on this side. I want to make sure the crocs don't come this way, so I'm just going to block that off with housing. We'll have houses on this side. We can unpause the game. And then we'll have houses along here. Yeah, we'll just... have lots of people moving in. Then we'll get the usual services down. Uh, what do I have on my hotkeys? Uh, let's go services. We will have our water supply. We will have our physician. Which I guess I can put around here. Physician. We'll just throw down the dentist right now because, and the apothecary, because 
why not? Uh, then we'll need our architect's post and our firehouse and our police station. Do I get the personal mansion now? Getting the personal mansion now might be a good idea because it just allows me to start accumulating that stuff and it doesn't cost a lot. Salary of five, yeah, that's fine. Vault holds two demons. Okay, so starting from scratch. People moving in, good. Let's go religion. We have just Osiris, so let's go temple to Osiris. That looks good. Let's get a couple shrines to Osiris. How do I want it? Like this, and like that couple shrines Osiris and then uh, I should probably check the map lots of trade partners hmm buys bricks linen gems jewelry wood okay uh, buys nothing lettuce bricks barley bree beer jewelry for budget buys nothing Timna fish beer linen papyrus okay Timna land trade route I'm just gonna open this immediately so I know I can sell all of these. But let's focus on Papyrus because that's easier to deal with. Biblos buys jewelry gems, sells wood. So we'll need to get that eventually. Okay. So let's set up the Papyrus industry. We'll have a road just looping around like this. Good. We'll get the usual of those two to loop around and then we'll go to production reed gatherer i guess two reed gatherers yeah and then papyrus maker we will need to go to services ferry landing Oh, I can? How do I want to do this? Yeah, let's just do this. And then I will change this road to go up here and then back down there. Clear that road. So that loop should work out nicely. Uh, this does need a road, but I don't think it... Does this need workers for this to work for the reed gatherers? Probably yes, right? So we'll... Get the basics set up here as well. We'll wait for those houses to move in. Okay. So we'll start producing this. Let's go to storage yard. And we will store this accepting papyrus. Accept all. And also... I need to remember, Overseer of Commerce is five. Uh, we will go to Papyrus and export all of it once that starts coming in. Two reed gatherers also crossing over here. I don't know if it would make more sense to have the reed gatherer on that side. It should be fine. We're not doing global worker pool. Not yet. Um, I might switch to it at some point, or I might alternate with it. I don't know. Oh, the crocs are just walking through here. <laughs> Why? Why is the croc rock walking through here? Don't know if I can stop that from happening. Is it chasing something? I don't know. Or it might just wander forever. I mean, animals are weird in the original game as well. Like, if it starts causing problems, I'll turn it off. Uh, but I remember in the bug reports, we are allowed to block them off. Let me just check um, if this crashes the game or something. If I just... No, wrong hotkey. If I just... Can they walk diagonals? I don't know. I will just... do that and see what happens that used to mess up the game on launch but they fixed that bug 
Ramses is killing the people. Okay, let's let's see where it stops next. It looks like I can trap him. <laughs> so yes. Should be fine. We can leave him on. It just walked all the way down here, ate a fire marshal, and then went back home. Trapped. Judged by the cats. <laughs> Look at the the cats are just like mm, no. No more. Not allowed. Made it look kind of nice. Papyrus is starting to come in, which means we'll start selling papyrus. Oh, this stuff is in, so let me grab the basics. Uh, fire. Uh, we need a physician. We need an apothecary. And we need a police station. All the basics. And now that should be fine. Let's, let's just give him a well, which may or may not work. Oh, it worked. Okay. So that means the ferry landing is now functioning. Let me just check. Unemployment rate is 51%. Okay, let's stop that. <laughs> uh, Papyrus should stream in now. Um, are these just full or can they not cross to get the Papyrus? Why'd I copy a dentist? Oh, that is wrong. Not a dentist. I wanted the apothecary. There we go. Maybe these are just full. Let's get four more of those down and then I will... What other industries can I work on? Barley, flax, fishing wharf. I guess we could get fishing wharf going. So let's... What do I want to do this? I just need lots of fishing, right? So let's just... Yeah. And then we have this. We do need to... Where was... Where's the shipwright? Shipwright? I could fit it here if I just adjust this road a little bit. Go to... Yeah, it was production, shipwright, and that can go there. And then this road will just loop around to touch those houses. This will be connected, but road blocked. Okay. And then we will have a granary right a little bit further away, right there and then we'll have the bazaar go right here this bazaar yeah just buy everything good good so that should get our em unemployment down i'm just gonna throw down another one of these right now yeah just to help some stuff along okay good Good. Uh, so I don't know if reed gatherers can cross this. It seems like no. So what I will do is let me copy one of these over, and then see if I can have some of these like that, and then see if the papyrus can just be sent over instead fairies are quite unreliable at the moment okay so we'll, we'll just see if this works instead to the marsh i march for the reeds we need okay good this shipwright is not yet functioning where's the worker seeker for this guy is this loop too big it shouldn't be too big oh this this loop here is too big I see. How far does this get? There? Okay. So I need to shorten this loop. Somewhat. Just for stability's sake. Let's do this and then loop around like that instead. 
we'll just get rid of all of these houses. We're shot by a whole bunch of workers. That's fine. We'll bring them back in. Out of money. Rescue funds, no problem. Okay, we are selling Papyrus, which is good. This should stabilize the block somewhat. It should anyway. Right, let's get them moved back in. Uh, are we now producing... Yes, we are now producing ships to go fishing. Fishing happens there. So something's being brought over across the ferry, and it is the reeds being carried over, I see. Okay, so this... this works out. There'll be papyrus and reeds coming from that side to just continue producing tons more papyrus. Yes, correct. Good. I can also, in preparation, build a road like this to roadblock there and there, and then we could get access to a scribal school for this block, which I will do later. Fish is starting to come in, so that will start being distributed. Nice. Okay. With further employment, I, I should probably... Bricklayers, work camps, medium master bar, small master bar. So if I just check under production, brick works. It needs straw and clay. Okay. Undo. Straw and clay. Oh, right. Good point. My wolves are going to burn. Oh, grab that. Okay, good. How do I stabilize this block? Let's go to entertainment. Let me just throw down a booth first. Booth should be able to go. If I adjust this road a little bit, so if I have, for example, the road extending out there, but it is roadblocked. I should be able to go entertainment, booth. How do I normally do this? I always forget how I... No, nope, not that. I think I have to get rid of that house, right? Entertainment. Oof. That's it. Okay, good. <laughs> Figured it out. Juggler school. Over that side. So there's some destination workers. Yeah. I know I can save some workers by default by not using granaries, but I'm going to use granaries because I want to. Uh, this will be... I can just click those. This will be just for fish. Okay, good. Papyrus is way stocked up. Let me see if there's anyone... Does anyone else buy papyrus or reeds? Another trade route would be nice. No, not really. So, we need to import clay. So that is sold by Bedette. Uh, we could import bricks, clay, and straw all from Nut. Water trade route. Okay, let's just open this trade route. So that, that'll be our monument trade partner. Uh, importing clay and straw would be more use... Well, will be cheaper. But And now let's also plan an export. We could sell beer to Mennefer. We could sell linen to Bedette. Let's set up linen, because we won't be consuming. This is water trade route. Menefer is... Oh, Menefer is a land trade route, so that makes it easier. Let's set up beer and Menefer. Yeah. Confirm. Okay. So we're going to set up a beer production on... 
guess I do it this side, right? Let's go to food and farming. Uh, barley farm. This is pretty narrow, so I'm not sure exactly what the best way of doing this will be. That might be the best, I guess. Road out there. Road out here. Road connect like that. Uh, let's get... Wait, do we have irrigation? Do we not have irrigation? Wait, I'm sure we have irrigation, right? Do we not have... No irrigation. Okay, fine. Uh, let's have this. This will be connected up here. This road will just loop around like that. This will be road blocked. And then we will just have two work camps. Road blocked like that. Yes, this is spawning correctly, I think. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, this loop needs to be bigger because it's going to be the beer production loop. So let's do that. Oh, like that. Okay, good. Uh, how's our employment? Short by 59 workers. Okay, we'll wait for that. Let us just grab two storage yards. This one will be No, what am I doing? That's not right. I need one closer to this side. So this one will be for beer. This one will be for barley. So this one is beer. Except all this one is for barley. Accept all. Okay, good. Just waiting on more fish to come in. We don't have enough fish. It's slowly going out. Let's get some beautifications down. Gardens. Easy one. Good. Let's throw down some shrines. Is the water supply still not covering everything? Fine, I'll stabilize the water supply by having another water supply. I thought this loop was small enough, but I guess not. It's small enough for the others, but not the water supply. I can never remember the distances for everything. 800 beer, 12 months. Okay. Short by 55 workers. I think I'm producing too much papyrus. Let's reduce a reed gatherer and two papyrus makers. Barley is being harvested. So then we need to go to production. Uh, brewery. We need to get that going because we need to 
I should probably stockpile it before I forget or something goes wrong. Beer, beer, beer. Stockpile beer. Because we need to deal with that request. Good? Good. I think so. Shot by 65 workers. We just need these houses evolved. Food is starting to look better. Food's actually looking okay. But... Is this block really that big? It doesn't look that big, but maybe it is. Well, before I... Just do anything weird, let's just have another... Bazaar there. I will road straight over to there. Roadblock there and there. Double check the spawn locations for these things. These are not correct. So I just need to roadblock all of that, and then that will solve the spawn locations, right? Yes, and the spawn location for this as well. Yes, so this just creates a shortcut for this bazaar to go grab that food. This should help distribute the food a bit better. You know, I could always force walker this and make it real easy, but... I don't want to be making the game super easy so early on, right? <laughs> Missions will get hard later. We'll... we'll solve that soon. Now oh, we do have trade ships floating by, but we're not getting anything quite yet. Uh, how's our employment? Shot by 49 workers. So I want to get the monuments... I'll probably just put the monuments here. If I go to Small Master Bar... this way. Let's place the large one first, or rather the medium one. So that looks like a good spot for it. I'll bring it over a little bit. I want it to be closer to the water because we'll probably be trading for resources. So I'll have the medium master bar there. Uh, let me just loop a road around it so I can see. So that's going there, and then I want the... Monuments. Small master bar. I keep pressing the wrong key. Small master bar. Six months acknowledged. I need to get... Four more of those down, I think. Uh, monuments. Small master bar. this there and then this there okay good just planning out all these locations so I'll circle them with road money is not a problem right now Perfect flood expected. Look how blue the water is. Okay. That's our master bar location. Beer is brewing. We got 400. We need more. That should be fine. Oh, that blue tile seems to be a bit of a bug. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. So the work camps can sometimes have some problems. Uh... But I think we should be able to do what we normally do. Just have that. Do work camps burn down? I can't remember. Yeah, some overlays have visual glitches. I assume saving and reloading solves all the problems. Um, you save. I can't remember what. Three mast. <laughs> can't remember what the mission is called. If I load, three mast proceed. That should solve any problems if we do this. So right now on this current patch, if there's any problems, saving and reloading, I think just solves it. Yeah, it solves the overlays as well. Okay, good. Uh, this road extends out to there. This road block there. And then the workers should be able to walk over and just work on the master buzz. Get that going, yes? 
this will be gardens. Nice. Decorating the master bar is very important. Perfect. That's what we're making all the money for. <laughs> oh, wait, I... Is it not stockpiled? Did it unstockpile when I save and reload it? Maybe. I'm pretty sure I clicked the button. I'm pretty sure I clicked it, right? Stockpiling this resource. Okay. Pretty sure I clicked it. I should set an export as well. Uh, oh no, we need a trade route for that first. Uh, who is it? Oh, Menefa buys. Yes. Okay. So, beer. Oh, I can't set it to export while I'm stockpiling. Okay, that makes sense. I know I can disable predators, but I'm a classicist. <laughs> okay, here comes these beers, so I can... Uh, who is it? This one. One month to comply. There's the month counter up there. And... Comply. Good. Uh, let's stop stockpiling beer. Set it to export when over 800. So we always have a stock of it. Uh, these houses have all evolved, which is good. We have money, so let's plaza it up. Plaza. Is that a waste of money? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it's fine. Good. Yes, that looks good. That looks good. Can I get this? No. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, good. Uh, the master bars. Kingdom sending climbs because I sent the 800 beer. Perfect. It looks like they're working on it. I do need... Ooh, a bit of unemployment. Good. That's coming in. And... Then I can just... How do I want to do this? If I want to have a dock... I could have it here. If I just adjust this road a little bit to do that, I can then just roadblock that. I think that's... Yeah, that's fine. That that maintains the loop, but keeps a shortcut in case the fishing people want to walk down that way. Okay, so we have a dock. So then I need to have storage yards for anything I'm importing. So let's set down one, two. This one will be for... Clay. This one will be for straw. And then this one will be for bricks. Bricks, bricks, bricks. I'll also need some wood. So this one will be for... Not a lot of wood. This is just for quarter wood. Is there anything else we need to import or export by water? Uh, there's monument provisions. Oh, I don't know if there's monu monument provisions. Disease strikes where? Uh... A gift of bricks. Accept. Oh, that helps a lot, actually. And in that case...
can I, for example, do this and set this to getting bricks? Just to help bring it over this side. Where's the bricks? Get all. I'll have two of them. Get all. Go get the bricks. Good? Good. How's our employment? Short by 10 workers. So I should probably get... Um, set this up to accepting pottery. Accept all. Let's go to the map. Um, are there other trade routes that will be useful? Bedet. Water trade route sells clay. Yeah, let's open this trade route as well. And then I will start importing clay. Import to maintain. Like 1,200, I guess. Straw, I will import to maintain 1,200. Uh, beer is exporting. Clay and straw being imported. And then I just need to go to production. Potter have like four potters. I can connect this road up, but roadblock, roadblock, and I also want to import just a little bit of wood. Wood, 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 wood. Oh, I'll need to open the trade route to import it first, right? Okay, so let's not do that. Let's just set up for the wood. Yes, yes. And then clay will come in. Beer can come in. We're not stockpiling beer anymore, right? Yeah, we're exporting went over 800. Have we sold any? Not yet. That will be an important source of income. And I opened another source of clay because I want to make sure that keeps coming in. So here, this one should begin selling some clay and then we can send it to make pottery. Yes, good. Perfect. Very nice. Just want to get the plaza up. Can I plaza that up? Come on, let me plaza it up. Just to there. Okay, good. All right, the Mastabas are making its way over. Some bricks are pulled over from here. Does it just need bricks? I think it's just bricks, right? So the more bricks we have, the better. Just tons of bricks. We need 11,000. So that's 22,000 plus 24,200. So that is... Forty-six thousand two hundred. Right, that's my fault. Uh... That is my fault. <laughs> yep. It's okay. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, we're selling beer now. That's good. Okay. Straw is coming in. How's our employment? 2% unemployment. Let's go to production. Brick, 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 brick works. Squeeze in. Is three brick works fine? I mean, it'll just create a constant stream of bricks, right? So that's that's okay. Good. Let's replace those to keep the farms going. This is separated. The monuments are currently separated from the farms so that the work camps... These two work camps are just dedicated to these. Oh, I do need, um, what are they called? Bricklayer guilds, right? So I will need... Yeah, the roadblock there, that should be fine. Bricklayer guilds. No, that's not fine. I heard there is a job here for anyone who wants one. Bricklayer guilds. Two? Yeah. What else do these need? 
Oh, more entertainment, right. So to solve the entertainment problem, what I will do is... No, no, it's not. How do I want to solve this entertainment problem? Destination Walker probably is most stable. So I will... Just do one first. Uh, and I will stabilize... Or rather, double protect for that. And then let's go to entertainment. Let's go to pavilion. Let's put a pavilion down there. And then I will have another... Juggler school. Conservatory. Dance school. And that should cover half of this block. Actually, more than half, because it'll cover... Uh, sort of half. <laughs> I just need to have another pavilion somewhere else later on to cover the rest of it. Yeah. No, plaza up to there. Beer, 1,100. Okay, so I need to change how much I'm selling to export beer when it's over 1,200. Which should be fine, right? I have 2,000. Wait, do I not have? I have 2,000, but I can't deliver it? You had that bug? Okay, it's counting the beer a bit wrong. It's counting a thousand less beer, I think. It's not a bug? Wait. Reserve for pickup by bazaars. Oh, so bazaars are already going to grab more. It's it's already sold. It just hasn't been picked up. Okay. There is an explanation. Just needs to be explained. Okay, so money seems fine. Can I import more bricks just to keep that going? Bricks, bricks, bricks. Available for import. Import to maintain like a thousand two hundred. Just, just give me more bricks. Pottery is going out, so these houses are evolving. They need a courthouse. Let's go to services. Let's go to courthouse, courthouse, village palace, courthouse, right there. Courthouse. We are short by 82 workers, but we're evolving the houses three levels, I think. One, two, three, four levels, actually. We're evolving the houses four levels. This needs... Oh, right. More entertainment. So, for another pavilion. Kingdom signing climbs. Good. If I wanted to solve the uh, entertainment for the rest of the block, I will need to... Open this. Road out like this. Have a thing there. Roadblock there. Plaza that. Copy this over to here. Here, make sure it is protected so it doesn't burn down. And then I actually have to get rid of this road. Do I have to get rid of that road? I don't have to get rid of that road because the entertainers will walk around the back. I've solved it. That now covers both pavilions, 100% coverage for all houses. Good, yes.
school or a library. We can actually get that going right now. So let's go to services. Scribal school, right there. And there's tons of papyrus to go around, so no worries. Good, yes, I think. I assume that entertainment walkers will walk this way now, right? It should be, right? Let's go to uh, overlays. Let's go to entertainment. Let's go to musicians. Oh, is, is it one entertainment trainer per pavilion? Because entertainment has been rebalanced. Dancer. Juggler? Musician. Oh, that road connection. Oh, right. Sorry, I forgot about that. Bricks. Accept. Thank you. Gift from a neighbor. Forgot about that. And then it walks this way. Right. That road connection. That That's my bad. So then this works. Musician. They're walking that way. Okay. Okay. Um, if that's the case, I should just delete this road. Yeah. I should just delete that road. Good. Good. Okay. <laughs> that That solves the problem. This game is half puzzle game. Let's plaza up the master bus because we want to. Very nice. Good. Total waste of money vanity project. <laughs> the Wacker, thank you so much for joining. Ah. Uh. Entertainment has been rebalanced. They increased the yeah, they increased the coverage. So if we look at the overseer of diversions, um, the the number of population covered by the stages is increased. So you don't have to spam so much. So now see, there's two dancer stages. It covers three thousand six hundred. That's like a lot, right? Uh, so if I check my ratings, culture is already very fine. 35. Population needs to be what? 2,500? All right, we'll see how many people move in from all of this. What is this waiting for? No health provision. Physician or mortuary? Okay. Let's run another physician over that side. There was some disease over that side, so let's solve that problem. Ah. Uh. Archer, thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Have I messed around with like things like chat GPT and stuff? Not really. I, I have not messed around with uh, the AIs going around. Not really my area of interest right now. Am I just way overproducing? It's August. Have we? S How much beer are we selling? Why have we sold so little beer? I mean, beer is being produced. I mean, it's not fully stocked up yet. Maybe it was just that gift I sent out. For some reason, I think Menef is the only buyer. Wait, who else is buying beer? Badet? No. Timna? Oh, Timna is buying the beer. Okay. I missed that. We can actually sell more beer. Timna has bought 1,100 and is buying the papyrus, so... If I started selling linen, Timna would actually overall buy less from us. But then maybe, I guess, 
don't know if it's worth setting that up. <clears throat> Let me check. So all of our houses, or most of our houses, have evolved. Um, let me just check the Overseer of Housing? Which, granaries? Current housing holds 274 more people. We import or produce enough food for 1,600. Really? Do we need more fisheries? I mean, it looks like we've got plenty of food, but that might change. So there's enough room for another 200 people. That gets us to 2,000. So we need 2,500, which means we need another 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49. Another eight two by two houses. So let me just go one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Yes. That should get us to our target population. Just to guarantee it, let's do that. Okay, that should get us to our target population. Yes. We could have more, but I like how this block has turned out. It's nice. It's, I just sometimes like building these wiggly, wobbly blocks, you know. Oh, we haven't imported any wood or built any warships. Weaponsmith. Fort Arch I, have, I have trained no military, <laughs> which is maybe a, a problem. Uh, let me maybe set that up in case there's a request or something. That'll be important to deal with. Uh, yeah, just just have a have it spawn like that. It's a bit weird. Let me just put down a recruiter and train an archer fort in case something happens. Right? Yeah. Just in case something happens, I want to get that going. Let's train some archers. This does feel like a peaceful mission. I mean, we got these three Mastavas going. It looks pretty good. Uh, let's do that. I'm spending way too much. <laughs> On my vanity project. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not tax collecting. I should do that now, right? But building a village palace is going to be an absolute pain. Uh, how much does that cost on this difficulty? Services. Village palace. 1,170. Well, I spent all my money on military. So it's fine. So much room for beautiful backyards. Well, I'm currently planning to put... The village... I can't... Right, of course I can't put it there. I'll put the village palace here, I guess. Then maybe a big statue there. And a tax collector. Because we... We need to tax this block. I'll put two tax collectors. Debt! Oh no. Okay. What's my current ratings? I have 200... I need two. Kingdom rating. I actually already have the kingdom rating I need. I just need one round of exports to go. It's January. I just need exports to go. Currently, imports are ruining me. <laughs> I'm going to save the game right here. Yeah, just overwrite that. That's fine. In case I mess this up. I don't want to touch my imports. I'm too lazy to micromanage my imports right now. So I'm just going to hope nothing happens. <laughs> I, I'm just too lazy to go to the menu and press the buttons, okay? I know how to min-max this game. I know how to play it better. Just where are those traders? I see some caravans coming in there. Good. Can I just, like...
don't think I can. You can control what docks trade. Okay, I see the brickworks are producing. The occasional gift of bricks does help quite a bit. Okay, someone's buying something. Was it beer? Was it papyrus? I don't know what I just sold. Where are the trade caravans? It's so hard to spot the trade caravans. Is it this? Our long and dangerous trek here was our long and dangerous trek here was for nothing. The city won't trade. They gotta fix that voice line, but no problem. We sold beer, which I assume was out of there, right? So where's the papyrus trader? That'll solve my problem. Valentin PV said they asked what chat GPT why Gamer Zack likes Pharaoh. And the answer was Gamer Zack likes the Pharaoh game because it is a well made and challenging city building game. He enjoys the game's attention to detail, its historical accuracy, and its complex economic system. He also appreciates the game's variety of missions, which allows him to experiment with different strategies and building techniques. In addition, Gamazak enjoys the game's atmosphere. He finds the game's depiction of ancient Egypt to be both beautiful and awe-inspiring. Well, sounds like it read a Pharaoh review <laughs> and just said, yeah, that's why Gamazak likes it. <laughs> Oh, so we are actually running out of fish here. I gotta solve that problem. Uh, contaminated water. Can I... Just... Don't trade bricks. Don't trade straw. Don't trade clay. Those are my imports, right? Yeah. Why are we not selling papyrus? Where is the papyrus trader? Have we not sold any papyrus? We've sold zero papyrus because Timna bought beer instead. Right. They both went for beer. There's nothing else I could sell, really. Besides linen. Well, I have to solve my food problem first. So... Let me see if I can... I can fit that there. And that actually works. It's a long walk, but you can do that. Okay, good. How, how's the god feeling? How's Osiris feeling? Learning diversions. Temples. Sympathetic. Okay. God's not upset. Here comes another trade. I've disabled imports because uh, I just have to. <laughs> Which is fine. I just need to sell more stuff. Okay. That almost did it. You know, since our kingdom rating is fine, I will just give this money I've collected back to the city. Can I type 300? Yeah. Good. Give money to the city. Yeah, just to reset any debt anniversaries. We do have archers coming in. Good. They added a minimap. Yes! Minimap is in! Look at that. It also tells you the type of uh, foods that are available on this map. So you just know how many types of food are available from the get-go. Which is kind of handy. Ah, there we go. We sold papyrus. Let's go to services. Let's go to village palace. I want it right here and then let's go to tax collector's office i will have one right there 
and one right there. Just to make sure everyone is taxed. Good. Gardens continue through. Very nice. Vanity projects continuing. The Mastabas are going along quite nicely, nice and even. Uh, I think it's just bricks that are holding us back. With tax coming in, our tax rate is currently 9%, which should be fine, right? Um, how do pe people idolize me as a god? Yeah, let's um, make that 11% then. <laughs> <laughs> that will help bring in extra money. I mean, it's like a, a couple, it's going to be a few thousand a year, I'm pretty sure, which is a big difference, you know, when you're floating around 900. Uh, and then I'll resume imports of clay, straw, and bricks. How many more bricks do we need? Like, how far along are these? 9,000, 9,000. 24,200. I think that's miscalculating because that was 24,200 at the start, right? And it's already got some bricks. Should be fine. Okay, let me resume imports. Uh, bricks. Import. Import and import. Okay, bricks, straw, clay. Good. Nice flood. Okay. I don't think there's anything... Oh, I I suppose I do have to... Prep for... Um, some warships, just in case, if there's a request for that. Also, we produce or import enough food for 2,200 people. A couple more... Fishing wharves would be good to have. I mean, I, I can just place one there. It's a long way to deliver fish, especially since I broke that road there. Not the worst thing. Like, as long as some fish does eventually come in. I could squeeze one there. What is this storage yard for? Clay? I get rid of that. Have another fishing wharf there. Have this road extend out like this. And then we get rid of that. This road extends out like that. We clear this road and then we have another brick layer there. That gets us another fishing wharf. But then I need to have another storage yard for clay, which I think I have to release the crocodile. We'll have to trap it somewhere else. We'll deal with that another time. You are now accepting clay. Okay, where'd the croc go? There? All right. We'll keep an eye on that croc and trap it when it moves over to maybe over there. Or can we get it here? It depends where it stops. Uh, I just walked right onto the road. <laughs> Importing bricks sent me into debt. Well, I mean, we're going to be getting a lot of money from taxes now. Another 3,000 a year right now. I don't think people love me. Okay, we can maintain 11% for now. This also brings in a bit of extra food. Two more fishing wharves here to stabilize the fish supply. Uh, two distant fishing wharves here. Is that just too far? No one can accept these goods. That's okay. I can use the rest. It might be too far. <laughs> It's fine. Okay, Croc, where are you going? Just walk over to here or something? Yeah, where are you stopping? Perfect! You can be next to your friend in adjacent cells. <laughs> it kind of looks nice. Vanity project. These Crocs love it, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I'm just importing bricks because it's just it's just faster. The, the, the monuments are going to take forever. Uh, how much does it cost to open this trade route to Byblos? A thousand... We don't really need any of that. We just need a bit of wood for... Uh, 
for warships. I don't even think we need that many warships. We might not need any warships, actually. This is not really a military mission. So I'll have that as a long-term goal. Okay. I could fit another bricklayer right there. And I could fit another one right here. Just to keep that going. But I'll garden this up. To deal with desirability. Garden that up. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. Population 2,400. Unemployment at 16%? Really? Why do we have no barley? I didn't see what happened, but we don't have any barley. There's like some scraps left over. The work camp bug, but I mean, it's working now, right? They're there now. Did it fix itself? I saved and reloaded not too long ago. But with uh, that problem, that's just... Put down two more work camps there. Another work camp there. Two more brick layers there. Garden that up. Festivals to Osiris deliver. We went into debt. Okay. I'm building too many gardens. That's my fault. <laughs> It is my fault. <laughs> uh, taxes should help solve this problem. Uh, why is it yields an estimate? So, so far, this is last year, taxes in was 2,700. Yeah. Save and reload again, just in case. Save. load just in case something is going wrong it's hard to tell just save and reload okay are oh, they actually they shoot the little bird there i didn't know they did that this archer sucks though <laughs> just can't hit it the arrow just flies off to the end Okay, it's fine. Uh, barley should come in this year. There we go. The farms are all now working. Good. We've trapped the crocodiles in a gilded cage. Bird flying above. Fish supply looks good. That fish did eventually move, so it's not too far. Uh, palace down. Taxes going. Why are all my houses devolving? Oh, they all re-evolved again, so it's fine. <laughs> Sometimes, I mean, that happened in OG Pharaoh as well. All the houses devolved. <gasps> then they re-evolved. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's, it's just a processing tick or something. <laughs> uh, we're waiting on bricks. Yes. So it seems like we're getting out of debt. We just really ran out of beer because of no barley for one year. Kingdom standing climbs. Very good. Uh, papyrus supply is still just massive, so no worries there. Employment, 11%. Uh, people are extremely pleased with me, so no worries on sentiment right now. Okay, so I think if I just speed up the game here, things should just progress along nicely. It's currently March, so no beer to sell, just, uh, just papyrus. I should probably disable our imports again. Uh, let's do not trade bricks. We'll keep the clay and straw going because that stuff's cheap. Uh, beer will return. 
I don't know whether this was one year with no barley or two years and I just really didn't notice. So I think to be safe, I will just do not trade anything. Oh, we're out of debt. Perfect. <laughs> just sold some papyrus. Good. Here comes the barley. A gift. It is a gift from the neighbors. It always puts the bricks there, which is a bit annoying, but... Yeah, it looks like it's going along quite nicely. This small master buff, 50% complete. 7,200 bricks remaining. With my there. bricks, this monument... It's bricklaying time at the monument. Okay, good. 20,000 bricks for the medium mastaba. Okay. Uh, I'll let money build up a little bit here. Okay. That looks good. Because we've got a big stock of pottery, so that's not really a problem. Did we just sell all of that beer? Perfect flood expected. Did the bazaars get any beer? Yes, yes. Okay. We did, we did get beer out to the bazaars. And then we just sold the rest, I guess. Wait, why are you... No one can accept these goods. That's okay. I can use the rest. Oh, that walk is just stuck. Okay, that's fine. Except all, except none. Okay. Ah, Masaba is Arabic for bench. It is what the Muslims call the Egyptian tombs because of their shape. I guess it does kind of look like a bench, yeah. Okay, money's back in. Let's resume importing straw, importing clay, importing bricks. Okay. Tempest, so oh, royal scholar, Gamazak. Rough waters, messed up trading ships. Okay. Does that mean a good night, good flood? <laughs> I don't know whether that correlates. Okay, with um, that, I can just go ahead and open this trade route. Confirm. And I will just import a little bit of wood. Uh, wood. Let's import to maintain like 400. And that should be delivered to our shipwright, which is over there. And then I will just... We're just massively overproducing this, so I'll just uh, get rid of that. And then I'll go to military buildings, warship wharf. And I'll just place one there for now. So we'll have a warship. Just in case there's some naval invasion or a request or something. I don't think it'll come in, but should be fine. Okay. So now we're just... I think we just... Uh... Population is 2,700. Okay, unemployment is really high. People are annoyed with you because of high taxes. Okay. I can... I can s somewhat solve that. Uh... Let's do that. And then drop taxes a little bit. That's bringing in like 5,000 a year. And that should at least get our employment unemployment to below 20%. We actually have too much population, so I think what we need to do is delete a house or two. You. Gone. Oh. Yeah, we're not making enough money to... import bricks, I think. I mean, I could set up a linen trade uh, but it's by water it might make things a bit weird bricks 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 but i don't really want to cross over that's why <laughs> i guess i am already here I could maybe 
This is holding wood. I could have this hold linen. Three quarters. And then I could go to production, weaver, and just have... a bunch of weavers. And then I go to food and farming, flax farm. Extend out like this. Can a road go th Oh, that's actually not traversable. I see. Sure. And then I just throw down... A couple work camps there. And that will... Oh, I need to roadblock this. And that will bring in some... Maybe I'll have a work camp there instead. We do have one warship. Okay, there they go. Yeah. And that brings our unemployment rate way down. We'll have a place to store linen. And can I then... Export when over 400 in case we need any. Okay, that will bring in linen. That solved our unemployment problem. People are upset but with you, but the situation is improving. Okay, festival to Osiris. Deliver. Yep, yep. What was even that? I just skipped through it. Workers rejoice at rays. Okay, there are raises going on. Uh, where do I set my rays? It used to be on this screen. Oh, is it under Treasury? Payroll. Kingdom pays 35. Okay, there we go. Yes, good. Taxes last year, 4,700. Very good. That looks good. Money's looking good. Once we get some linen in, I will go ahead and big statue there kingdom sending climbs perfect uh, once we get some linen in i will resume importing bricks so we got one warship can i make this work somehow So if I get rid of that, I can extend a road out here, which should still be stable. Because it's small enough. Here comes flax. Accept the gift. Very good. So now all of this... The weavers are going, which means I should be able to resume importing bricks. Import. And I'll up it to 1,600. That was the correct one, right? Yes. <clears throat> okay, we're producing bricks. We're now selling linen, or rather, it'll soon sell linen, which will give us all the money we need. We're taxing people. This block looks really nice. Let's just fill the gaps with gardens. Is that not gardenable? Okay. Let's surround our palace with gardens. Perfect. Plaza up to there. Very nice. I think our block is complete. Yeah, it looks nice. I think all the houses are evolved. Yeah, population 2,700. It's where it needs to be. Um, prosperity, way more. Culture is fine. Kingdom's at 90, thanks to all the things. Population, so just the monuments left. 
and we should be able to win. So with yeah, with Linen going out, we can continue to bring in all the bricks we need. We can import how much bricks? It was nooked, right? 4,000 bricks a year. So when it says 4,000 bricks, I don't know whether it counts here the same as 4,000 bricks. I think it is. So let's just make sure we're importing as many bricks as we can. Yeah, full warehouse. My list of job openings is huge and I can't find any workers to fill the posts. Is it? Oh no. Unemployment's 3%, so that's perfect. Okay. I think this has turned out very well. We've not uh, expanded over to that side. There's too many crocs anyway. There's like four of them over there. This looks really nice. Yeah, I like it. Money seems to be okay. Linen is coming in and I assume linen is going out. Yeah, food supply looks good. Is the food supply calculating correctly? We are producing enough food for 2,800 people. We have 2,700 people, so that means food is great. Ah, it's so nice when everything comes together and nothing unexpected is happening. I'm waiting for the unexpected thing to happen. <laughs> yes? No? No. Maybe no unexpected thing is happening. We got two warship wharves and an archer fort in case anything goes on. All the bricks coming in. 4%. Can I fit another brick layer there? I could fit one there. I guess that kind of works. Just to keep more bricks going. We got one, two, three, four, five, six brick layers. That didn't affect the desirability. Second type of food to evolve these houses, I'm not gonna bother. Barley supply looks good. Beer supply looks good. Pottery supply looks good. Decorations look complete. Gonna shift this road over because I would prefer that to be clear. Good. This master bar looks almost done. 1,800 bricks for that. I think that was a perfect increased trading of game meat. Okay. Well, I mean, I could get game meat down. Don't think I want to bother. But the linen export's definitely working. this what's going there 1800 that's with my die. bricks this monument will be strong 12000 okay so right now what some people are complaining about is that if you play really efficiently you basically win the mission, but the monuments aren't done. And I'm not sure... In the original game, there was a monument speed-up option, but that just sort of felt like cheating. <laughs> yeah, deliver. Like, I never used the monument speed-up option because it just, it just sort of felt like cheating. It's like, oh, it just makes this thing easier. And not that it is cheating, totally use it if you want. But some monuments do take forever, like so, so long. In Emperor, they did have a god blessing that sped up monument stuff. So at least you sort of felt like you could do something to speed up the monuments. And maybe that is something they could implement. But also, maybe I'm just playing too efficiently because I'm too experienced. Hmm. Master bar finished. Hey, we finished one. That one's done. Look at that. The master bar is now complete and contains a total of 11,000 bricks. 
Have I ever played the Stronghold game? This reminds me of them. Well, yeah, the people who made Caesar 3 made Stronghold. I've played Stronghold. Uh, except... Great. So, it's always hard for me to comment on the... Uh, the balance of this game, because I've... I'm obvi obviously, like, very experienced with these games. Second Master Buff finished. Perfect. Just one left to do. The big one. You know, I've beaten Pharaoh on very hard. I've beaten Caesar 3 three times. I've beaten um, uh, Zeus, not yet Poseidon, but I've beaten Emperor as well. Uh, all the bricks now just going into this last one, which should keep it going much faster. So... Oh, I see the... So this is the current... Uh, problem. The the work camps stop working after a while. They had to reintroduce that to stop saves corrupting. Don't ask me how those are related, but they are. So hopefully the next patch fixes these work camps because it forces these reloads. And I'm like not getting barley. <laughs> Luckily our food supply is not tied to to farming on this map. So how many more? 8,000 bricks. So we can import 4,000 a year. I'm not sure how many we're producing with six of these. Like how many a brick works produces per year. Yeah, the, the monuments take a long time on missions where you can't extract the resources. Increase trading... Tim now will trade more beer. Oh, that's actually good for us. Well, if we get barley. <laughs> that's always a bit of a problem. But at least money is sorted. So yeah, I wouldn't mind if they added in a monument speed up option again. Or just an option to halve the resource requirements of monuments. I mean, it's a nice difficulty option. I probably wouldn't use it, but... There are people who would, and who, people who would prefer to play like that. Okay. I missed the plaza there. That was probably killing some of you. <laughs> I do like how this turned out. One, one of the best things about the Impressions games, and this one, is that you know, once everything's built up, it is just nice to look at. Oh yeah, alternatively, I wouldn't mind, like, I know why they haven't done it, stability reasons and all of that. I wouldn't mind if this, the speed went up to X10, that is also a solution. Because you can get your city to a stable place like I have and speed it up. So an X10 or even X15 would be good to have, but I understand why it's not in right now. Because even like zooming out like this, they didn't implement it because you see, I actually lose frames doing this. Ah, the master bar is finished. It's now complete. Victory! Pharaoh smiles at your accomplishments. You have made the most of what the river and sea have to offer, defending our borders with a small but capable fleet of ships. You have also honored the nobility by providing them with tombs to house their bodies. Uh, but we can't just move on right now. We have to look at the Mastavas. Keep governing. Can I unpause? I can unpause, but I'll slow it down. Let's look at the Mastavas. Hide the UI. <laughs> Here's the Mast of Us. Also, just for uh, cleanliness, I will now destroy this road. So it's just a nice Mast of Us right there. There we go. That's what we built. Perfect. <gasps> Why is that not? Okay. Now it's done. Perfect. The three Mast of Us. Anyway, that has been Abedju, or as the narrator says, Abjadu. I'm assuming Abedju is correct. Thank you all so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed this. That's been Pharaoh. Join me in the next mission and all of that. If you'd like to support the channel, use the GOG referral link.
That's linked below. All right, thank you so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next mission. Bye, guys.